apologise in, um, in advance in case I'm a bit premature. You see, uh, I might finish before my five minutes is up. Uh, so I only have a little, a little story that I wanted to tell. So it's a story about um, this time I was in the station and I saw, saw this girl that I really liked the look of. And she was gorgeous, talking to a friend. So uh, I, um, I thought I'd go over to her. So I went over to her and, uh, you know, I got a little, a little bit hard. Um, a little bit hard of hearing from listening to them. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, I couldn't hear what they were saying. But uh, I, I, I guessed that the one I liked, I guessed that she was loose. Because, well, she had a happy birthday sort of badge saying Lucy on it. So, uh, <laughs> so I thought, it's a birthday, right. And she saw me looking seductively at her. And uh, she came, um, she came over and uh, <laughs> she gave me one. Uh, of the nicest <laughs> smiles I've ever seen, <laughs> and uh, well, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I don't get much attention from girls normally, so I didn't know what to do. I panicked a bit, and so I just my, I just, I, I just smiled right back. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and she said, "Hi," I said, "Lucy, hello, happy birthday." Listen, I, I'd like to take you out for a drink. You know? Maybe go to a nice bar, have some drinks, and uh, she said. Uh, yes, so we, um, I took her up the back alley, I took her up the back passage because it was the quickest way to get from the station to the bar, and uh, once we got there I said, so do you want to take my cock, I said, I said, do you want to take my cocktail invitation, and, uh, and she said yes, so I gave her a slow, comfortable screw up against the wall, and uh, I had a mojito, I think. And uh, she said, hey, do you want to go back to my place? And I said, uh, yeah. So we, um, off we went. We stopped off at the shop on the way back uh, for, you know, some snacks, some crisps. Got a pepper army or two. Uh, you know, I gave her her cheese. And I gave her her fish fingers from the freezer section. And, uh, and I, uh, I gave her HIV, I gave her kind of, well, I guess it was a chivy sauce. Fish <laughs> 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 <her> fingers. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we got back to her house and uh, I noticed, I've noticed by the way by this day, she had great tits and she had starlings and lovely house martins pecking away at the food on her uh, table, out of the bird table. And uh, I slipped inside her, um, her house, and uh, you know, immediately I came across her, uh, tidying the lounge to make it all nice. So uh, anyway, I, I, while she was tidying, I went over and I fingered her, um, a couple, well, a couple of her books that she had lying around. And then we sat down, and we, you know, we had some crisps and stuff, and you know, some wine, and we were chatting. And uh, I said, you know, Lucy, it's your birthday. I don't know how old you are. And you just see, she had, she, had, she had really tight lips. But uh, she just wouldn't tell me how old she was. <laughs> anyway, things started getting a bit more comfortable. Now, I have to say, I, I, I didn't just go around to her house because I love, I, you know, I was thinking about her pussy. But I do love pussies. And she had the cutest little, you know, fluffy pussy. Who I, was, I was just playing around with it and you know, tickling it and scratching it and playing with it, fed it a little bit of my sausage, you know, pepper army, and made this funny noise, like when I was eating my sausage, like, uh, and, uh, but anyway, uh, so we went upstairs, basically, and, uh, you know, started getting comfortable on the bed, and I noticed she had a really kind of intimidating, quite scary looking kind of vagina, well, I guess you could call it kind of a China doll by the side of her. Pretty <laughs> strange looking. <laughs> but uh, it didn't put me off, you know. I, I fucked her, we had sex, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and then after that, you know, she, um, she said, You're not staying, fuck off. Uh, actually, I think, yeah, she said, You're not staying for coffee, are you? And, uh, I said, Only if I can have sex with your cat. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>